I'm your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. We are closing from the farm. We've been walking from around um, 11 o'clock. And then uh, we're harvesting potatoes. Potato. Potato. Sometimes from only one heap, I can get this. And I was discussing with somebody yesterday, somebody who is in Scotland, doing uh, his PhD, Marcus Ekure, and he told me about Albert Bartlett Company. And I went to check it. It was established in 1948, and all they do is about potatoes. They have dozens of products from potatoes. Potatoes. Look at what this land has given to me. I have several sacks there. This is my, this is my third time of coming. And we've not harvested up to 100 feet by 100 feet. And I still have a lot. And I was thinking I could plant this whole front of about uh, six acres with potatoes. Imagine if my brain works well and I start to make products out of this. How much I will make? The leaves I can use to feed my animals, rabbits, pigs, whatever. I'm going to speak to university students tomorrow. I mean, university graduates tomorrow at the Delta State University, Abraka. Career development for young Nigerian graduates in a depressed economy. And I have a lot to share with them. You see, when I come here and I go home dirty like this, it's not this thing that I do here that really is, that is the real reason I'm here. There is more to it. I'm stimulating people all over the world to start thinking differently, to start thinking about productivity, to start thinking about agriculture, to start thinking about throwing away this, our, the, posing of certificate somebody will tell me your content is more than your your page rubbish content i mean rubbish page rubbish packaging is it the one that i will do before you hear about potato that is more interesting my son has a phd he's a cloud engineer who can do all sorts but let's face reality let's leave frivolities let's leave frivolities as africans and start thinking about what we have on ground, the blessings we have around us, and how we can be productive. Let's change our religion. The shrine in this town, the shrine in this town, it's my great-grandmother, great-great-great-grandmother that built the, the demon they worship from the water. It's not troubling me. It's my brother that is serving it. Go to where I come from. There's another shrine there. It's not troubling me. Let's change our religion. Let's change our mentality from ancestral causes, evil spirit, and the land is blessed. And Africans must start thinking about how to maximize it. After speaking to the university people, I'm going to speak to oil company workers, oil and gas company workers, on how to create wealth outside the oil and gas salary. In fact, I did uh, acted as a resource person to the Nigerian Petroleum Development, Development Company on alternative sources of revenue for oil producing communities. Agriculture is one of them. Processing, one of them. Value addition and all kinds of things we can do. Change your mind. There is wealth in Africa. I remain your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. God bless you.